<laughs> Let's make a quick game over screen in Unity. The way I'm going to set up this game over screen is by having a scene for the game and a scene for the game over screen. When an event triggers the game over screen, the scene will change over to the game over scene. I'm going to set up this game over screen for a platformer styled game because it's the best way to show the game over screen's function. For a platformer, your game over screen should be triggered whenever the character falls below the screen or whenever the character falls off of your platforms. I don't have a platformer made, but in order to simulate this, I'm going to use a cube with a rigid body to simulate the player. Let's line up the camera so that it faces the cube. And now you can see the cube will fall. So that would be your player uh, triggering a game over screen because the game should now be over. Let's go over here and I'm going to create an empty game object to categorize it, to sort things out. Plus game over this will just have, I'm going to add a cube for the colliders and also to visualize it. Make sure to reset its position. Make sure to reset everything's position here. And now say this is your scene and you want the player to fall below your platforms and then to trigger the game over screen. So just make sure your collider covers that entire scene so that it triggers game over. And here I have it set to cover plenty of space. Alright, now we can see the collider right here, we can see the player. So right there, whenever the player has fallen, we want the game over screen to show up. First, in order for our game over screen to work, we can go ahead and uh, set up our scenes. I've been working in the sample scene. I'm just going to name this uh, game. You can add a scene for game as well. And then let's create a new scene by right clicking. Create scene. Let's call that game over. And now we have an empty game over scene right here. This is what's going to appear whenever the game is over. We're doing this because we want all of the game's functions to stop working whenever the game ends so that the player can't keep playing. And what we're going to try and set up in the script is, let's play the game. We want a collision event to happen here. And then we want the game to transition over to the game over script. And then we want you to be able to click retry or restart and then go back into the game where you can then play again. Let's go on into our scripts folder and let's work on the script. Let's right click, create, C sharp script. I'm going to call this game over. Let's go on into our script. You won't need void update or void start. Let's make sure we are uh, using scene management. So I'm going to control D while on this line with my cursor. Uh, to duplicate and I'm going to add onto using unity engine the second line dot scene management just like this let's go ahead and set up the script we want to detect the collision between the player and the ground or the player and our collision event when it falls off of the platform so that would be on collision enter and let's go ahead and set it up and then inside of here we would say if there is a collision with a game object then it's going to trigger it so our game object we're going to use a tag to determine the player's game object so that it triggers the collision event we're going to say dot tag tag is going to equal let's go ahead and give its name let's call it the player tag it's also built in now if there is a collision with a game object under a tag player then we want to use scene manager to load the scene and this is our 
game over scene for our UI. And that scene will be, uh, depending on your uh, build index, it will be a number. Let's use the number. You can use a name as well if you have way too many scenes. I'm just going to use one. So what this is going to do is, let's go in here. You can choose file, build settings. It'll show your scene, but make sure you go in your scene, build settings, and then add open scenes. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into my other scene. This is the game over scene. Go over to file, build settings, and add open scenes. So now you can see they have a build index number. Our game scene is scene zero. Game over is scene one. And now we can see that we are loading scene one whenever our player collides with our collider. Let's go ahead and test this. But first, we've got to choose our player game object with our collider. And then go over here to where it says tag and choose the player tag. If you don't have a player tag, you can go to add tag and then you can uh, add a tag to it called player. But we have a player tag, so let's choose a player for the tag. And one more thing is the collision object that we're going to trigger the game over screen, we need to add the game over script to it. So just drag and drop that on our collider object. And I'm going to leave the mesh render enabled to show you the collision and then it getting triggered. And now whenever these colliders uh, collide, it will go over to scene one, which is our game over screen. Now I just need UI and a restart game button. One more thing, whenever you have your collider set up, and you most likely don't want to see the collider, you can go click on the collider, and or the cube, and go over to the mesh renderer, and just disable that. So all you have left is a collider on your object, and it's not visible. All right, now let's go into our game over scene. And I'm going to create another little empty object called game over UI. And then uh, let's reset the position on that. Put that centered. And on game over UI, you can right click on that. And then go to UI. And then let's create a panel. You can create a canvas and then a panel, but if you click panel, it'll go ahead and create your canvas and your panel. Let's go ahead and focus on that. This panel will be our game over screen. In a background here, we can make that whatever color we want. I'm gonna make that a nice red color, nice dark red. Now on our game over screen, let's go ahead and add some text just to make it look nice. I'm gonna use Text Mesh Pro. You can add text, Text Mesh Pro. And whenever that, if you click that button, it might ask you to import Text Mesh Pro. Just go ahead and click that Import Text Mesh Pro button. Make this say Game Over. And I'm going to increase my font size to be uh, big enough. I want to make sure it, it aligns in the center, so let's go ahead and do that. These two buttons in the center. And on wrapping, I'm going to disable that because I wanted the text to go in one line. I'll put that kind of up high so that we can put our restart game button in the middle. Another thing is on the game over screen, I'm going to right click on that, go to UI, and create our restart game button, create a button. I'm going to scale that accordingly. Go ahead and click the drop down on the button, go to its text, and I'm just going to say restart question mark. Now you can do whatever you want with this screen, but this is what mine is going to look like. Now all we need to do is set up our button to work. So let's go back into our script, and then I'm going to add a another void but I'm gonna make this one public so that we can access it in the button this one's going to be called restart game because that's what our button is doing and inside of restart game all that we need to do is take this scene manager dot load scene so let's say scene manager load scene and all we're going to do this time is load back into scene zero. 
And that is all you need for your script. Now to uh, go ahead and add this onto our button, just click on your button and you'll see an on-click event. We can uh, add an on-click event and reference a script. So all we need to do is choose our script and drag that onto our button. right here. So there's our game over script. We can go ahead and choose another on click event and then choose the object with the script. That'll be our button and drag that under there. Choose the function. That is going to be the game over script. And then inside of the game over script, we are choosing the restart game function. And that will call for that function whenever we click on the button. You can see here that we have our player. If the player falls off of our platforms, they'll go into our collisions area, which will trigger us to go into our game over script, which will show our game over UI. Simple as that. Player dies, game over, do you wanna play again? Player can do whatever they want, and if they die, it'll just show it again. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to do a game over screen and Unity. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, be ready for some more tutorials coming out soon. And good luck with your Unity projects.